Right, one of my favourite things to do on lockdown has been to rediscover how much I love making homemade paint. You can boil up a little bit of beetroot to make a lovely purple colour, make a very strong cup of instant coffee to make a brown colour, boil up some onion skins to make a lovely yellow colour, um, and then I've got some um, poppy here. I found some poppy petals, which makes a kind of pale pinky colour. Now, when you boil things up, of course, use your adults to help you. Don't boil things up on your own. But here goes, let's see. I'm gonna make a colourful pigeon here. Now, don't try and get all the colours that you can from a normal paint box. Use the wonderful colours that you can get from those natural things and just see what happens. Um, enjoy the challenge of just using those colours. And the thing I really found magical is that with these paints they change as they dry. The yellow from the onion skins started off brown but changed and turned a lovely golden yellow. Right, so another thing that you can do, if you feel like doing some writing, is to write a letter to an imaginary person. Perhaps an alien, uh, like my alien friend from my book here. When I've got an idea um, that I want to write about, to write a kind of pretend letter, I just find a fantastic way of exploring that idea and thinking through that idea. And going back to pigeons, I'm a little obsessed by the pigeons in my garden and I just wanted to think through ideas to do with the pigeons in my garden. And I kind of started this writing this letter to an imaginary friend. Um, and once I started, I just couldn't stop. And I wrote, ended up writing this letter and um, writing this whole story about how pigeons got their colours, um, which I hadn't planned on writing about at all, but once I started writing this letter it just came to me. Um, so I'll probably go back to that and that idea will probably turn into a poem. Something we have an awful lot of, um, and lots of people have a lot of, is um, this wonderful corrugated cardboard um, that uh, packages are sent in. Um, and, you know, it's the most brilliant material for making things. Um, I just absolutely love it. So, you know, just see what you can make with cardboard if you have plenty of it and just get some scissors, get some glue, get some tape and um, see what happens. Um, castles, forests, um, little characters, who knows what. So I'm gonna um, just get cutting and sticking and see what happens um, when I um, see what I can make with this stuff. Here goes. <laughs> 